Hi. Have you ever fallen in love? Well, this is the part two of the, I guess, the heartbreak video or whatever. This is more on the romance side. Well, I would like to tell you some stories that I have in my head. I'm not entirely comfortable with the creepy shit that I've been doing when I was younger. But here we go. Um, they're not really that creepy. First fell in love with... Hmm, it was a gecko. Cool, huh? First fell in love with... How can I say this? I think she was a, a girl who has a similar name with mine. In real life, my name is Mikhail. Yeah, I know. And her name was Mikaela. Did not go well. Mm, that's it. That's all I know about her. <laughs> I don't even know who she is, what her name is, where she lives. I never, I had, had no connection with her. <laughs> Um, my second romance, I believe, was a girl named, I don't even know her last name, <laughs> I just call her Erin, like Arena from my fanfiction, yeah, um, I don't even know, I think I only liked her because, <sighs> okay, this is gonna sound, this sound sad, she talked to me. <laughs> I have a lot of trauma with my relatives and family. So when someone, like a girl for example, talks to me appropriately and respectfully, I usually fall in love with them. <laughs> of course, I was a kid looking for, when you think about it, when I was a kid, I was looking for attachment, right? And I was looking for someone who I could talk to, who I could communicate with properly. That's normal. Of course, I fell in love with her. But I stopped liking her um, a couple of months. <laughs> then, okay, here's another girl I named also after my... I'll name her after my fanfiction character. Uh, Jess. Sure, that's her name, Jess. Uh, why did I like her? She was interested in me. Okay, that sounds friggin' sad. <laughs> yeah, yeah, she was uh, interested in me. Um... Uh, he was interested in the lore of my uh, religion. <laughs> That's it. That's so sad. <laughs> yeah, um, she was interested in me and I liked her. Mm, wow, that sounds healthy. And I eventually grew up and became obsessed with her, which is so sad. You know when kids watch cartoons and then they 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 watch this one guy they think this one guy flail their entire body or over a girl they think that's normal you know it's normalized into their brains that's a, not a good thing my role model was timmy turner <laughs> uh i fell in love with the idea of being with her i never really loved her for who she was which is sad i'm sorry jess or whatever your real name is but yeah that was terrible i also teased her a lot which is uh if you're watching jess i'm sorry sorry for doing that that was not fair to you or anyone related to you it was not fair i'm sorry i really am sorry then there was this other person um Let's call her Joaquin, okay? Oh wait, no, there was another person. Luthor, let's call her Luthor. I know that's a guy's name, but Luthor is the best. Oh, that gecko is really scaring me. Okay, Luthor was a girl I liked around the same time I liked Jess. So Luthor was essentially a really pretty girl. I liked her because we actually had things on, in common. The problem was, um, my, this is gonna sound sad again, 
I'm so sorry, this sounds like a downer video. Uh, my best friend at the time uh, took her. Even though she already, he already had, I think, a girl he was with. Not, he didn't take her. She just liked him more. I think they ended up together. I don't know. It was unclear. It sounds so friggin' sad. Anyway, yeah. As you can tell, I'm very uh, unlucky with love. Very unlucky with love. <laughs> Whatever. Okay, here's a pot. I swear, this is positive. This is positive. Um. Oh god, I hope people don't meme this. Okay, there was this other girl, Joaquin. I liked her through text. No? Uh, we only texted to each other. It f we felt more like pen pals the most, but I liked her. I fell in love with her because she was okay. Nice to me. Oh my goodness. It's like I never received niceness in this household. I'm joking. I'm joking. My family loves me very much nowadays. Um, but yeah, she treated me right. I was around 10th grade, 11th grade or something. And she treated me right. So I, I liked her. She treated me with respect and she cared for me. Then she rejected me, so that's fine. And then I pined for her for around another five years, which is also sad. But at the same time, I also fell in love with this other girl who I cannot mention now. What is the point of this video? <laughs> okay. Well, the I've been heartbroken several times now and I can't really do anything about it now can I but that doesn't mean it's the end of course it's not the end most of my viewers are young you can tell <laughs> like I also know what they're watching but you guys are pretty young you're around my age I don't think it's the end of the world wise woman just I called my mom told me that just because you get heartbroken you you do something doesn't mean it's ever the end I mean it's the beginning of a new thing a new life the experiences you've had as I mentioned in the earlier video where she rests on her shoulder or She, the little things, the little things where she takes moments to spend time with you. You should remember that. You should never forget that. If the other video is about familial heartbreak or heartbreak in general, this one is about romantic heartbreak. You can't hate them. You can't hate women or men just because mosquito. It's the mosquito from the other video, oh my god! Um, I'm gonna forget what I was talking about again. Oh, no, no, no. So you can't hate them. You can't. You can't become a misanthropic person, misandrist or misogynist just because you're heartbroken. That's not fair. Of course, I've gone through with that. Didn't end well for me. But, of course it is fair isn't fair because there are people they spend time with you sure for me I, I, they were never my girlfriend but they were my friends I love them and at, at, for some degree they probably loved me back but I can't say that it was romantic but they did and it's not fair for you to hurt them for it so just a reminder, be good. Thank you.